fluid mechanics, Bernoulli's equation, dimension analysis. So in this uh, video, we want to talk about a equation developed by a Swiss mathematician called Daniel Bernoulli, and that's Bernoulli equation, which is one of the most uh, dominant equation in, in fluid and hydraulic fluid mechanics and hydraulic engineering. Let's see if we want to talk about the main dimensions. They are like length is shown by capital L, time is goes by capital T, and mass goes by capital M. And they are the three main dimensions. If you want to apply these term, main dimensions in terms of dimension analysis in, in Bernoulli's equation, one can say in Bernoulli equation, we do have a two parts and then the, the first part of the equation is for the very first part of the cross section. So that's cross section area, cross section one. And the uh, one and the other one is cross section two. And they should be equal to each other. If we ignore the head loss, so Z1 plus P1 over gamma 1 plus V1 squared over 2G is equal to Z2 plus P2 over gamma 2 plus V2 squared over 2G. That means if we just consider the Bernoulli equation from a base, it just says the very first one, Z1, the very first term is height of our, our source or water from a, a base. Uh, based of feet, meter, or inch, which all of them is in terms of main dimensions, is in, are in capital L in terms of dimension. And the second part is P1 over gamma 1 is equivalent height of pressure. So let's see how that goes in terms of dimension. Force is mass times acceleration. Mass goes by capital M in terms of dimension. And acceleration is meter over square seconds so that's l over t squared and that turns to be lt negative two and and then pressure which we are talking about a numerator is force over the area so a mass times l times t negative two over l squared that's m l minus one t minus two that's the, we, we already created the numerator. In terms of dimension analysis, we want to say all of the terms, for example, in one side or the other side of Bernoulli's equation, if the first one is in length, in terms of feet, meter, or inch, the other one is equivalent height of pressure, so that's also a kind of height that should be in L also, capital L. And the other one is also, the, the, the last term is also equivalent term, uh, equivalent height of this time velocity. And that's because that's equivalent height, that's again in L. So we want to show all the terms in Bernoulli equation in either side of the Bernoulli's equation are, are in feet, meter, or inch, which are all of them in, in, the, in terms of dimension in capital L. So, so far we just created the, the uh, we already show for the first one that's either in feet, meter, or inches. So that's a one, that's in, in the dimension of length. And for the second one, equivalent height of pressure, we already created the numerator of that. Let's work uh, around the denominator to see uh, how easy in terms of dimensions. So for numerator of, of equivalent height of pressure, we want to create gamma one. Oh, so in general, gamma. Gamma is nothing but a density times acceleration fields, rho times g, and, and rho is mass over volume. And g is meter over square seconds. So the first one is L T negative two. Mm -hmm. So 
g is meter over square second that's l t minus 2 and rho is mass over volume so that's mass over volume is is m l a m over l cube so we can write it down that's m l negative three and gamma is rho times g so rho times g m l negative three times l times t negative two and that gives us a m l minus two times t minus two that's the denominator so then if we want to know how that goes again we do have the equation so p over gamma in terms of their unit is just t minus two cancel with t m cancel with this one l mi minus one cancel with this one and it just comes up to turns to be a unit of l like what we have in z we have a unit of length for a second term let's let's process the last term and we want to justify the last term which is the equivalent height of of velocity is also in dimension of length let's see how that goes so if the last term is equivalent height of velocity and velocity is meter per second and v squared is meters meter over second in parentheses squared and that's l squared times t minus two because that's l over t and then a squared is l now if you can rearrange that and that's l minus two, l, l squared l squared times t negative two the last terms of of Bernoulli's equation so and at the same time g is also let's make it a bit clean meter per square second that's in terms of dimension that's l times t negative 2 and if you com combine these two it just gives you v squared over 2g in terms of uh, dimensions give you l squared t times t negative 2 over l times t negative cancel out these two it just gives you l in so that's again in terms of a length so this was l first one was l and the last one is l and it just says all the terms in, in either side of Bernoulli's equation are, are in the dimension of length that's why when we call that Bernoulli's equation for one side, we call that total fit in terms of, for example, this customer is in feet, that, that's Z1 in height of water, and P1 over gamma, that's equivalent height of pressure, again in feet. If the first one is feet, the other one, the second and third one is also in feet, and, and the last one is V squared over G for either of cross, cross sections. That's equivalent height of of velocity of water, and that's also in feet. So we can also say water moves from higher what to lower what. That's definitely total head of water, and like what we already reviewed, transfers from higher temperature to lower temperature. Likewise, water moves from higher head lower head, and this head is consists of a three component of Bernoulli Bernoulli's equation that's Z1 pressure velocity terms. Thank you we work on more more problems in next videos. Thank you.